Hello, um, I wanted to make this quick video to show you how you can actually pair a pair of headphones to your um, laptop. And it doesn't matter what type of laptop you have, if you have an old laptop that's like 9 and 10 years old or if you have a new one. Um, there's a software driver that you can download by whatever manufacturer you have that you can um, actually pair a pair of Bluetooth headphones with the laptop and it will work. Because I know in the past, um, I tried to do that, you know, I, tr I had actually, um, I had, you know, Lenovo HP laptops and the problem was, um, they were easy to pair with a smartphone, but as soon as you try to pair them with a laptop, they just don't pair, you know, they connect, um, they don't connect. The, actually, the laptop would, you know, would actually locate and find the Bluetooth device, such as the headphones. It would locate them, find them, but it would not pair them or connect them. So um, I actually found out what the problem was. And the problem is that um, you have to have Bluetooth 3.0 or higher for it to work. Like even if you have an old laptop and it has like, you know, Bluetooth 2.0 or 2.1 drivers, it's not going to work. So basically you have to install um, Bluetooth 3.0 drivers. And it doesn't matter if you have an old laptop. Like I, right now, I'm using this laptop here, which is um, a Lenovo workstation, or Lenovo W510. And this laptop is like almost 10, year, 10 years old. And I have these pair of Bluetooth headphones right here. As you see, I'll try to get you a good picture of them. These are really nice headphones. And um, they actually work with the laptop. They pair and they work perfectly. So the only problem is, you know, you just have to download the right drivers to get it to work with your laptop. So I had this Lenovo workstation, so I'm going to show you how to download the right driver. But if you have, you know, Hero Packer, it will also work with Hero Packer. Um, all you have to do is just download their Bluetooth 3.0 driver. For some reason, I don't know, uh, 3.0 works. 2.0 or 2.1 doesn't work, you know. Uh, when you, the drivers on the laptop just doesn't work for some reason, so you have to do you have to deal with um Bluetooth 3.0 or higher. So I'm gonna go to the Lenovo website. Actually, I'm just gonna type it in. I'm just gonna Google the driver because if you try to go to the Lenovo website, um, it's gonna be very hard to find their drivers. I don't know what it is about their website, but um. <clears throat> Um, it's very hard to find the drivers for your laptop, especially if you have a you know older laptop. Um, it's just the layout of the site makes it very difficult um, to find the, the drivers for some reason. Like if you go to HP, you have an HP laptop. Uh, it's pretty simple. All you have to do is just in it, enter in the model number of your laptop, and it will find the drivers and everything. But Lenovo website, it just doesn't. It makes it you know very difficult because I have made so many videos of, of how to you know do this. And I go to the Lenovo website and I just can't find the drivers, you know, when I'm making the video because it, it takes so long. So I'm just, this is the easiest way to do it, you know, to find any driver, uh, whatever laptop you have, whatever model and brand, you just type it in. So I'm typing Lenovo W510. See if this works this time. Uh, we will type in, yeah, Lenovo W510 Bluetooth driver. You see, it's right here. And as you can see, um, I've already been to the site. It's already highlighted, but um, I'm trying to do this again. Okay, here we go. This is what you want to download for a uh, Lenovo um, laptop. Like, if you have a T510 or T520, it should work. You know, basically, you know, the workstation is basically the same laptop as a T510, T520. It just has, you know, a different processor and, you know, more RAM, but it should work for any um, T series laptop. So you click on a link and it would uh, should take you directly to the site. Oh, okay, there we go. Yeah, this is it right here. So as you can see, you just Google um, the laptop, the model of your laptop, and the brand, and you type in Bluetooth driver, and you see it brings it up. So this is the one that you want. Um, ThinkPad Bluetooth with enhanced data rate software. Now that's the one that will allow you to connect your Bluetooth headset 
or headphones to um, your laptop and it will work and you see um, as you can see it's for you know either 32-bit or 64-bit machines And, you know, I don't know if this works with uh, Windows 10. It, it, it should. I actually put Windows 7 on this laptop. I actually have, like, a dual boot. I have Windows 10 and Windows 7 on one laptop. With, you know, using two separate hard drives, you know. Uh, I would probably make a video on that later on how to do that. But um, right now, you know, I'm using Windows 7. So it should work with 10. But anyway, what you want to do is you just want to download it. And I'm not going to really download it or do the processes over again because I already have it installed on my laptop and I don't want to, you know, mess it up. But I'm just going to uh, show you what to download and, you know, what you need for it to work. And this is just it. So you would download it here. And then once you download it, then, of course, you know, you go, you open up the file and you run it. But also before you download it... Um, you know, it doesn't matter, like if you have a Bluetooth driver that's already installed on your laptop, you don't have to, uh, you know, delete it or remove it from your computer. Just leave it as is, you know, don't mess with it. Like if you have Bluetooth 2.0 drivers installed, just leave it. It won't affect, when you download um, this version of Bluetooth, it will not affect, um, affect the Bluetooth device that you have on your laptop. So you just can leave it as this. So what you want to do, you just want to download it. And then once it's downloaded, um, there's two ways you could do this. Uh, um, you could actually turn your headphones on first, you know, even before you download this software. And you can, okay, there's two steps. So the first step, um, even before you, um, you download the software, before you run it to install it, you can actually try to pair your Bluetooth headphones uh, with your laptop it will find them but it won't pair them but it will actually find your laptop and that's all you need to do once it finds your laptop and it's unable to pair it then you install this software you install um, Bluetooth with enhanced data rate and then once that um, starts installing um, it will install I think four drivers actually this one program and it takes about anywhere from it takes a long time to install this is a large program it's uh, as you can see it's 211 max so when it's installing it takes like 10 minutes for it to set up about seven to ten minutes and when it does um, the software when it's installing it actually installs four drivers you know separately um, all together actually you know you get that little window that comes up saying it's installing the drivers you know please wait well, it's going to have four drivers that it's going to install all at the same time. So it's going to take a while. And each driver that it installs, like it's for the Bluetooth headset. One of them is for the headset. The other one's for the voice and data. And it's another one that's for something else. But it's four drivers. And once those four drivers install, then your laptop is ready. Um, yeah, your laptop is ready to go. It will connect to the headphones. So what you do is you turn the headphones back on. And let it, you know, um, find the headphones. And then once it connect, it will just go in and connect. And you will be able to have um, sound, you know, from your headphones. And it's a nice feature. But I'm going to show it right here. I'm going to see if I can get it to connect to show that it works. Um, so right here, this is, um, okay, this is it, the Bluetooth devices. So you want to double click on that once your program is already downloaded and it's already installed. And it will show devices, the devices that are connected on your laptop. Okay, it's taking time for it to load. And I'm sorry for all the noise and stuff. Um, that's The wind is blowing here really hard, so it's blowing the door and stuff. It's really windy here. Okay, here it is. See, this is the um, devices. So right now, I actually had these headphones right here um, pair with the computer as you can see so this is what you would do if you was installing your software you know you would install all of it and let it finish installing the drivers and then it should automatically and leave your uh, headphones on it should automatically connect but if they are off you just turn them on and it should connect okay I'm gonna do it right here let's see so you just wanna hey off you just wanna turn them on and you see how the light comes on there we go you can hear it um, 
So, okay, if it's not paired on a screen, usually once the software is set up, it will automatically tell you on your computer. It will pop up on the screen saying your Bluetooth headset is paired. So if you want to pair them, I was using these on another laptop, my HP also. All you do is click on device, click on the Bluetooth headset, double click. And let's see what happens. Okay, see, there we go. It says opening um, device control panel. Okay, there we go, see. It says right here, this is my computer um, workstation. This is the Bluetooth. So it's say it's uh it's connected. Well, actually it's disconnected, but when you hit the connect button right here, it will connect your headphones. It will pair them. But I wanted to point something out right here. You see these um these titles right. It says music and audio. Well, when you download the uh, the Bluetooth driver, the 3.0, this is actually what it downloads. It downloads the speech speech recognition um, driver. It downloads the supported audio driver, and it downloads um, two other drivers. Heads, one, one of them is the headset driver. So these are the drivers that it downloads that, um, that it takes to install the software. So this is what this is. But um, you just click connect. And it says connecting, see? You see the Bluetooth symbol is on. Uh, there it is. It's connected. So right now, like I'll play a track, see if I have any music on this computer. You know, this is, um, like I said, I'm using um, different operating system. I'm using Windows 7, and this is like my um, backup version. This is not my uh, main operating system. That I, I use Windows 10, but this is for my other work I do. So, okay. Here's a song just to um, show you. Uh, it's electronic music just to show you that it works. I don't know if you can hear it through the headphones. Let's see. Yeah. I'll try to put it up close to the mic so you can hear that it works. There it is. You can see. Try to turn up the volume if you can hear it. See. Okay, that's the headphones. The music is playing through the headphones if you listen. See. so that's pretty cool you know um i had no idea that this would actually work because you know i had bluetooth on my uh computers and okay see i had a volume up but you can hear it so it works and it's connected but this is you know as i was saying before uh, earlier it's this is really cool i didn't think it would work because I tried in the past, you know, I had Bluetooth installed on my laptop and a lot of people, you know, have it on their laptop, but then, you know, they come into this problem where they think, you know, you know, their headphones don't work with their laptop because it's old, you know, it won't connect. You need to have, you know, the latest uh, Bluetooth or maybe, you know, sometimes, you know, the headphones don't work with laptops, but they actually do. I know for a smartphone, they're real easy to connect using a smartphone. But this just shows you that you could actually, you know, use your Bluetooth, just about any pair of Bluetooth headphones with your laptop. It doesn't matter if you have an old laptop like this one. This one is almost 10 years old. As you can see, it works perfect. I mean, it works fine. You can hear. So I just wanted to make this video just to show you that you can, you know, use your Bluetooth headphones with an older laptop. You know, it doesn't matter what kind of laptop you have. As long as you download the right driver. So I tried this um, on my HP. I have an Elite Book 8460W um, and a um, 60P. I tried the um, 60W uh, the other day, and it worked perfect. So you could probably install this on any you know any model of laptop you have. The only thing is you just got to make sure you download the Bluetooth driver, Bluetooth 3.0 and it will work you know and it's the same thing for hp you know um i think it's uh it's the same driver basically but it's it's designed for their brand of laptop their model but it's it's bluetooth 3.0 because i tried using bluetooth 2.0 and the drivers that was already installed on my laptop when i got it and it did not work it would find a device but it would not pair it 
but I'm um, using Bluetooth 3.0 with parrots. So I hope you enjoy this video. And I just want to show you that, yeah, you can actually do this and it works. And, and it works very well too. So this is pretty cool. You know, now you don't have to use your um, headphones with the cord. You know, you could cut the cord. You could um, detach the cord, you know, from your headphones. Because this is what I used to use these, um, these headphones with the cord attached. Because these are made where you can actually also plug in, you know, the 3.5 millimeter cord on it. And use them as that. But now, I don't even use the cord anymore. I just use the Bluetooth. And it works great. So... If you need help install it, you know, just, um, you know, uh, put something in a comment, you, you know, just um, put something in a comment and I will help you out. Or I will make a video showing you how to um, do it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, thank you very much. Bye-bye.